Hello YouTube Vintage Stereo Restorers and Collectors. I'm working on this uh, Kenwood KA2002A. Yep, the one with the nice silver face plate. Um, just want to show you a couple little tips on the phono section on some of these older ones. There's some parts hiding under this bundle of wires right in there. And you'll see I put in two new caps, a 10 microfarad, a 4.7, and a new transistor on each side. That's basically the first stage of amplification in the magnetic phono input. And this was doing something, and uh, maybe just remember something I discovered a few years ago. You can tell a lot about how a phono stage is working by just listening through some headphones putting it up about half volume, listening for hums, noises. And this is what I did. I had the headphones on. It is better with headphones than speakers because you can hear minute details. At half volume, I was just tapping around here and it actually almost sounded like tapping a guitar string. Uh, something was microphonic in that circuit. Now, it likely wouldn't have affected, like the phono stage would have still worked might have altered, you know, you, people might have been listening and got a little bit of feedback at some stage. But here's what happened here. Originally, the first four stages, eight transistors were all the noisy C458s, which was common in this early, late 60s, early 70s amps. And they can easily be replaced but the two C458s would have been plastic body transistors. And these were put in right here. What are they? 2SC1416s. This is something I discovered years ago. In the first stage of a phono amp, metal body transistors tended to pick up noise to be microphonic. Just something I figured out working on one quite a few years ago. I had a bunch of metal uh, PN2222s, I believe they were, and I used them. They were a good match for gain and everything, but they're causing the amp, even that, you know, a quarter volume, just tapping around on it, it was being picked up. And then another little issue that comes up on these, I see there's a bit of activity on some of the forums. This cap here is between the basically the phono comes in there's the two jacks okay a little bit of a resistor network comes over to the selector switch then through these 3.3 microfarad white elna caps they're white because they're solid metal caps they're um, a solid metal body if you if you clip one in half see what i mean it's like just two strips of metal put together whereas these it's foil paper and electrolyte. Um, these tend to be noisy too. I've noticed in other ones, especially not these ones, but the national labeled ones. They're um, sold by in, what was it? A TW66, I believe it was, or a TK66. Um, it was causing some microphonic problems in the phono stage. And with this here, you can replace it with it's just a basic aluminum electrolytic, a 3.3 or a 4.7 microfarad. And I've done that before. That's what I'm doing on this one. Some 4.7 microfarad uh, work capacitors. And these won't be microphonic. And you get just a slightly bit better bass coming through. And then for the transistors, 2N3904's plastic body tend to be less microphonic and you should match them up by lot number that's as far as i would go um you don't even have to match them on a meter you can if you like but if they're the same brand of lot number they're likely close enough in this situation anyway i just want to talk about the phono stage and just want to say don't forget about those hidden areas where there's capacitors to change thanks for watching and listening